Welcome back viewers. We are sharing today Pastor Chris's message, Be a Word Specialist. He's continuing. Notice that in 2 Timothy 2.15, Paul counseled Timothy to study rather than just read. Yes. Studying the Bible should be a diligent endeavor under the auspice of the Holy Spirit. Most importantly, meditate on the word as you study and let it soak into your spirit. Confess it over and over again until it gains the ascendancy in your mind. You see, that is what Pastor Chris means when he says, and when you get a hold of it, keep, keep saying, saying it. it. Don't stop talking it. But he said, when you get a hold of it. So that is what has to happen first. And that happens through meditation. When you soak in the word, it means that through meditation, you drive the word of God deep down into your spirit because it has to be in the spirit first. You cannot okay. just talk, 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 talk. You first have to make sure that it is in your heart. For the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So you have to have it in your heart first for it to come out with power. You know, People who, who know what they say, pastor always says, I know who I am. Praise the Lord. You see, many people say, I know who I am also. But do you really know who you are? Do you really know who you are? Yes, I know who I am. I am the righteousness Christ. of God in Christ Jesus. I am a city set upon a hill that cannot be hidden. I am God's masterpiece. You know, so I know. Praise the Lord. I know. And when I speak it, it will come out with so much conviction. Hallelujah. And this is what being a word specialist is all about. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Then it continues. The word of God in your spirit and in your mouth will make you what it talks about. It produces results. Yes. If you want to have results in your life, you have to put the word of God in your spirit. You have to put it in your spirit. And then it will produce, Pastor tells us, it will produce what it's saying about. That's what you need to fulfill all that God wants. Isn't that easy? That's really easy, you know. I mean, God's things are always very easy. It's just, do we really understand what he's saying? So, he is saying, if you want to have success, if you want to have fulfillment, if you want to see results, make sure you have the word in your heart. And how do you get it there? Through meditation. Wonderful. That is... You know, the Bible is the solution. The word of God is the solution for every, every problem. The solution for every problem you will find the answer in the Word of God. And the more you know the Word, the more you become master of it, the more you become that specialist. So the more you have, the more of the Word you have in your heart, the more you gain the ascendancy over life's Wonderful. challenges. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Let us pray together. Dear Holy Spirit, Dear Holy Spirit, I thank you for revealing God's word to my spirit. I thank you for revealing God's word to my spirit. To inspire, energize and program me. To inspire, energize and program me. For the glorious life in Christ. For the glorious life in Christ. I experience blessings. I experience blessings and increase today and increase today as I act on the word as I act on the word excelling in all I do in Ex Jesus name excelling in all I do in Jesus name Amen, Amen. Hallelujah Praise God That was inspiring Truly Pastor Chris has given us further study scriptures the first one is from Isaiah 55, verses 10 and 11. I read, For as the rain cometh down, 
and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bud, that it may give seed to the sower, and bread to the eater, so shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, that principle is applicable not only for God, it is applicable for his creation also. So if you are in Christ, you can apply that same principle that God talked about for yourself. So in the same manner, like God speaks forth a word and that word will accomplish what he has sent it out for. In the same manner, if you are born again, if you are born of the word, that same principle you can put to work. So you speak forth what you believe and it will surely come to pass. That is awesome. That's awesome. Really. Really. The second further study scripture today is 2 Timothy 3, 15 to 16. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Hallelujah. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Wonderful scriptures. We can go deeper and deeper through these scriptures and get more revelation about to be a word specialist. Yes. If you are following the one year Bible reading plan, today you will read from Mark chapter 10 verses 32 to 52. And in the Old Testament, from the book of Numbers, chapters 14 and 15. And if you are following the two-year Bible reading plan, it's Matthew 20, 1 to 16, and Exodus 13. Thank you so much for joining us on the program today. In our extra segment, you will hear praise reports from readers of Rhapsody of Realities from all around the world. Stay tuned. found salvation through Rhapsody of Realities. My first contact with Rhapsody of Realities devotional was in school. A student in my class came forward during registration and read it to the class. I had never heard such inspiring words before. For the first time, I realized I was a success with a bright future. Those words inspired me to receive Jesus Christ as Lord of my life. I motioned to the student who opened a prayer of salvation page in the devotional and led me to Christ. Miriam M. Zimbabwe. The Prayer of Petition. I wanted so much to study cardiology for my first degree, but I had to have excellent grades to be accepted into any medical school. I wasn't getting good grades for reasons I couldn't fathom. Fortunately, I got a copy of How to Pray Effectively as a birthday gift and read the chapter on the prayer of petition. Right there, I prayed in accordance with its principles. When that semester's results were published, my grades met the university board's requirement for my admission. Visuga M, United Kingdom.
Welcome back, viewers. There are so inspiring testimonies from Zimbabwe, from Miriam, and from the United Kingdom, from Busuka. Viewers, send in your own testimonies. You might read it on the next Rhapsody of Reality program. And you know the power of a testimony can go very far and can be an inspiration to so many others. The Bible says they overcame the wicked one by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. So That's never un underestimate your own testimony. Thank you viewers for joining us through this program. And we thank Pastor Chris for giving us the word, the message from today to be a word specialist. Until tomorrow, keep, keep reading the Rhapsody, Rhapsody of Realities. God bless you. City